Hi everyone, Attorney Richard Seller uh, here with another video blog slash update for you guys. A uh, little change of scenery as you can tell from my other videos. Um, I'm sitting in my partner's office, he's in trial today, so I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a different view just to uh, switch it up a little bit. So I'm sitting at his desk, he doesn't know it, uh, so we'll make a little mess and move on from there. Anyway. I wanted to take a moment uh, today to talk to you folks uh, about something that's pivotal to the employment law litigation process, and that's what's called depositions. And um, in the most simplest, truest form, a deposition is when one side gets you or the other side or their witnesses and your witnesses to sit down under oath and answer questions about the claims that are at issue. So if you're the plaintiff or the person bringing the employment lawsuit, and you wind up in litigation, you are going to have to sit through a deposition, okay? So you'll raise your right hand, swear to tell the truth, or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and off you go from there. The biggest mistake that employment lawyers and their clients make is not preparing for your deposition. You would not walk into a heavyweight fight without training for the fight. So for the very same reason, you don't walk into your deposition uh, before meeting with your lawyer, reviewing the relevant documents, looking at the allegations that have been alleged by your lawyer, including sworn written answers, and sitting down and knowing the certain questions that are going to come up and how to answer them. So as a rule in our firm, we always prep our client uh, between one and two times prior to the deposition, where uh, preferably we meet with them the day before the deposition uh, as the last time to keep things fresh and then we also try to meet with them at least one time earlier. And what we do during the deposition, and I'm going to say it to you like I'd say it to a client, you don't win your cases during deposition. You can only lose them. And what does that mean? Well, clients <coughs> excuse me, have a tendency to want to spill their guts during a deposition. That you know, this is the time for them to talk about everything that the case is about rather than just answering the questions. And defense lawyers are very savvy and they're shrewd and they're nasty. So the more you speak during a deposition, meaning the more you just volunteer information, the more doors, potholes, and loops that you're opening up for the defense lawyer to walk straight through, okay? So the analogy I've given since my first year of practicing law during depositions is if they ask you what time it is, don't tell them how to build a watch, okay? Answer the question that's being asked of you. Now, defense lawyers oftentimes try to get you into answering a question the way they want you to answer it by just saying yes or no. And they'll often ask you yes or no questions that are slanted to their position. So, you're perfectly acceptable to answer yes or no, but if you need to explain, you can answer yes or no, but X, Y, Z, okay? And <clears throat> if your lawyer is decent, your lawyer will have prepped you for how the difficult questions of the case are going to come. Now, here's the truth of the matter. Okay, um, no matter how good your lawyer is, they can't prepare you for every single question because obviously we're not mind readers. We don't know exactly what the other side is going to ask you. That being said, you should understand the theory of the case, which your lawyer will go through, and how the facts truly fit in and apply to the law so that things sort of commingle. Okay, and again, preparation, preparation, preparation. I cannot under uh, I cannot tell you how important it is and not to underestimate showing up meeting with your lawyer prior to your deposition. And if your lawyer hasn't asked you to prepare for your deposition, you need to insist on going and meeting with your lawyer to make sure that you're not walking in there uh, without being prepared. You know, other things that happen during the deposition is uh, don't guess. Don't ever guess. It's a perfectly acceptable answer during a deposition to say, I don't recall or I don't know. The worst thing that you can do is guess and guess wrong because guess what, pardon the pun, that lawyer later on down the case will take your guess and turn it against you. And it's an innocent mistake that happens quite frequently. That being said, don't guess. Next tip, don't fight with the other lawyer. An old friend of mine, an old colleague used to say, Rich, if you wrestle with the pig, you get dirty and the pig loves it. Don't wrestle with the pig. So here's what it means. The other lawyer is clearly going to try and push your buttons, okay? Play poker. Don't let the other side know that they're getting to you. Because I can tell you from my perspective that when I take a deposition, 
and I've got a witness that's being aggressive or hostile toward me, I know I've got them. I know that I'm in their head and I know that the questions that I'm going to ask them, they're so enraged, they might not answer in a way that's in their best interest, meaning of, of the company that they represent. So it's poker, folks. Even if you're feeling bothered, even if you didn't like a prior answer that you gave, sit there and answer the questions, okay? Don't be combative because there's one final point I want to tell you just about depositions here today that I think is important. This is an opportunity when they're taking your deposition to evaluate your credibility and how you might present to a jury if this thing goes to trial. And if you come across argumentative and fighting and your eyes are all over the place and you're not calm, cool, and collected, they're assessing that to say, I don't mind putting this guy or gal up on the jury stand in front of a jury because they're going to make a mess of their case. But if you come across as a polished, prepared, professional witness and talk about the facts of your case in preparation, which you've already done with your lawyer, that stings the other side. They've got to go back to their client, meaning the lawyer, and say, this person appeared to be very credible. They didn't lose their cool. They gave me a difficult time because 